Hey you fellas, so there is a mapping contest going on on Reddit which is to make a map that is basically terrible. Kind of an interesting competition, I thought I would give it a go. So I have done some mapping in the past and I'm going to kind of edit this video. This really doesn't matter, I'm being so pedantic. Okay, so this is going to be our a little base, a little platform to build the map on. So the theme of the map, I'll just bring up my checklist quickly, show you what I'm planning to do. So bombsite A is going to be a palace. Um, there's going to be some pillars that are inspired by the ones on Inferno, um, like the ones on site A, but worse. So essentially these are going to be some pillars that you can't quite fully hide behind. So they're just going to be really annoying and in the way by design. It's a weird competition this one. Uh, boxes are too low to hide behind so you're going to be able to headshot someone even if they're crouching through these boxes. Again just horrible. Uh, scaffolding for CTs so there's going to be some scaffolding around the map that CTs can stand on so you have a million one angles to check nuke style. This map's going to take a lot of inspiration from nuke seeing as nuke is pretty much the worst map currently in uh, Counter-Strike so in my opinion at least. I, I still don't like it even after the update. Um, poor lighting for CT spots. So this one, uh, if you play some um, some of the hostage maps, this is quite a common issue because they've not really been properly optimized for global offensive and there is some poor lighting uh, in places like in office, in the papers room. Uh, if someone is crouching behind the papers, even if, even though they're in plain sight, they're quite difficult to see just because that room's so poorly lit. So uh, I want to do some poor lighting uh, to kind of hide people. And we're going to start off with the A bomb site. So uh, I'm going to stop talking now and start doing some building. Oh, 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 oh,
So the aim of this map is to be bad. However, I'm not going to just put down some spinning boxes with Rick Astley's face on them and call it a day. I'm going to make a map that looks aesthetically pleasing, at least to the best of my abilities. Instead, the map is just going to play badly. The design takes inspiration from many of Valve's maps from CS Source and CS Go. For the A site, I've taken many ideas from Nuke. The multi-tiered battlements ensure that terrorists will have to check every possible angle, the wide open spaces will make tactical smokes and flashes pretty much impossible, and the poor lighting, which will be added later, will ensure that there is absolutely no fun to be had for either team while taking the site. But what about if the terrorists successfully get the bomb plant? Can they have fun then? Don't worry, I thought of this. The beams along the walls of the site aren't quite big enough to hide behind. The boxes on the site are too small to crouch behind without your head poking out, and the entrance to the ladder is visible from B site. So say goodbye to any hopes you had of getting up there. What's more, the terrorists on the battlement are completely exposed to CTs coming from B site. I have a few texture packs installed as well as a few of my own textures. Some of the textures suited the theme of this map perfectly. This means that despite how terrible the map is, at least there are some pretty textures to keep you happy, unless your texture detail is on low, as mine is in some of these clips. All I've really done in this video is put together a good chunk of the CT half of a site. In the next video, I'll probably do some more on the T side of things. Also, if you think of a good name for the map, let me know. I would ideally like something a bit better, or worse, than the Hitler Palace.